how to cope with the mental health trauma of conflict. We live in a world where we are bombarded with constant, negative information. As a result, we often feel powerless and frustrated that we can't change these feelings. There are many ways to cope with the mental health trauma of conflict. One way is to take care of your physical body by getting enough sleep, exercise and healthy food. Another way is to practice self-compassion and self-care by taking time for yourself, doing things you enjoy or spending time with people who make you feel good about yourself. What is trauma? Trauma is a response to an event that is so disturbing that it makes you feel as if it's happening all over again. The experience of trauma can affect your mental, emotional and physical health. It can change the way you see yourself, your family and friends, and the world around you. Trauma can happen to anyone at any time. It's normal to have a reaction to trauma, but it's not normal for the effects of trauma to last forever. How to handle stress and prepare for a disaster. In order to better cope with stress and prepare for a disaster, we must first understand the different types of stress and how to manage them. There are two types of stress, short-term and long-term. Short-term stress is caused by a specific event, while long-term stress is caused by daily occurrences in life. Some ways to manage short-term stress are to take deep breaths or do some yoga. Ways to manage long-term stress are by making time for yourself, eating well, getting enough sleep, and spending time with friends or family. What are the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder? Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, is a mental health condition that can develop after someone experiences or witnesses a traumatic event. The symptoms of PTSD include flashbacks, nightmares, feeling detached from your body and surroundings, feeling tense and on edge, experiencing severe anxiety, depression, and mood swings, treatment of PTSD. Effective ways to deal with stress. Coping skills are the way to deal with stress. One of the most popular coping skills is meditation. It is a technique used to control or reduce the stress that we experience in our lives. Meditation helps us to clear our minds and find peace and calmness. It can be difficult for many people to find time in their day for mediation due to work, family, or other commitments. That's why it is important for people to have other coping skills in their toolbox when dealing with stress. PTSD is a mental health condition that many people suffer from. It often leads to depression, anxiety, and other complications. This section will discuss the different ways that PTSD can be treated. The first way to treat PTSD is through medication. There are a variety of medicines that have been approved for the treatment of PTSD. These medications can be used in conjunction with therapy to provide relief from symptoms like depression and anxiety. Another way to treat PTSD is through cognitive behavioral therapy, which involves identifying triggers and then gradually learning how to cope with them in a healthy manner. The goal of this type of therapy is to help patients learn how they are feeling so they can use more effective coping strategies when faced with future stresses or triggers. Disclaimer. This isn't a clinical opinion. Please talk with your local service provider if you notice any symptoms.